the Tai Chi Qigong practices that I teach, I try to share the most I can. Simple keys that I, I was taught to me from the old Chinese ways, the Taoist ways. And in the end of the day, it has a lot to do with opening up channels, the energy flow in the system. Be aware of your energy body as such. Eventually, administrate the energy in your system and even channeling the cosmic energy, this, the energy from around us, the nature, and know how to 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 administer it, that like to favalta, like to to take care of it, as a caretaking of the energy. So in order to open up in the practice, we open up limbs, we open up our articulations, we do stretching practices and breathing techniques, expansion, contraction. It's the dynamic also connecting to the above, to the below, as below, so below, as above so below and you work with the di di dynamics for me the tai chi chi kung is more the mastery of emptiness how to to work with emptiness if you handle the emptiness you can also be full so it's knowing and understanding how to work with the with both energies it's not like uh, another practices or dimensions where we strive for enlightenment in in a way it's more of being in the balance and the harmony and in, in the center and being with the darkness and the light as a as a dance to handle it so it's a way to learn how to transform negative energy into positive energy but also being aware of that the negative is always there and it's going to be there and how how to use it Eventually, if we use it as a compost, our negative emotions, we can um, work our virtue energies and, and refine our virtue energies, make them better and stronger. So, my relationship to, to this, the bone trumpet is actually a very close relationship to Johan. He's a great friend and he's uh, more of a brother in, in many senses. I'm so happy to have found this relationship as friends. I had a yoga studio in Södermalm, Stockholm for a while and I was recruiting yoga teachers. And by a second, the moment I was recruiting, he was just passing by, came back from this retreat and in the States, New York, and he goes like, yeah, you need a yoga teacher, yeah. So we created a great relationship during five years of running the yoga studio, and he was one, one of my main teachers. And he was holding very much the energy. So he has that magic touch to it where he just creates an, an incredible atmosphere in which people can very much rely and feeling trust and be in a very nice embracing space so with that magic and and also due to his his choice in life could be or his long run in his spiritual development I've haven't met a person my same age with the high high of a consciousness high highly developed spirituality and it's not only about spirituality no obviously it's more of a to really integrate and to incorporate the teachings of the old ways and really live them and, and make them become reality so this is a flowering of his <laughs> life's mission and his life's vision eventually one flower out of many eventually but 
it's a great space. I've chosen a life, urban life, mostly. At times, I, I spend time in the in the beaches, close to nature, surfing, guiding Tai Chi, giving my treatments. But also, I've chosen a life close to the urban life and the the common life as we know it. So for me to come here, it's really a, a retreat. Even if I work as a channel, working, serving with energy works, treatments, massage, corporal works, energy works, I still come here and it feels like ah, you come into a space where a lot of processing, a lot of things goes on, but still it's a retreat where loving energy can really emerge and you can actually tap in to a part of yourself that's mainly loving and uh, with less of defense mechanisms and you break down easily here you break down your all your patterns of of defending your your heart heart energy here your loving energy and it can blossom here and it can be you can be reminded of actually what it is to be in your loving energy without defenses, without all those those um, walls of defense that we create in an urban society where when th where there are other intentions. So it's a great place. It's a nice sangha he created here with a lot of great teachers and people seeking generally like for me it's very hard to to I, I don't feel like I wouldn't stay in a space like this because it's a lot of seeking a lot of be can become very intensive and very far out so to speak like a little bit spaced out and the spaced outness is there and can be there but if you don't feel allergic to it is it can it can be there it doesn't have to be part of you necessarily but I must say it's like I need it and I like it in doses not like every day <laughs> so for me it's very good to come back to my ordinary life and and get this as a really great life energy injection you know like and say like wow this is good at moments you feel a lot of resistance you know like wow this is like too much you know and you can feel it's like it's maybe not at all what I want or what I wanted and you want to just run away from it you know but it's it's good it has a breaking down effect of, of, of this defense system that we create at times that let's that makes us not see or be in our true self and in our full potential. So it's a challenging place also to share with so many others, but it's also, I think, what we all need a lot more of in our individualistic <laughs> lifestyle with the consum consumption society where things are very much inviting us to be more taking care of ourselves first of all like or like it's mine this is me my reality and we build up all these ideas around our individuality and we forget about the collectiveness and the community and this is a danger for the whole society that's what creates wars and creates problems and conflicts all over the world so it's a very important icebreaker especially here in the north we need it and amazingly enough people come here from the whole world and that's also beautiful to, to be able to share this part of the globe that is like cold and we haven't been very proud of our coldness and this and that but the older I grow the more I like I realize the beauty of it I can find the exotic reality that 
the nature in Sweden and the atmosphere it creates here, even if it's cold.